So on this particular chapter, we're going to talk about sorting of our data being returned into our reports. Um, now, if you've been following the previous videos, you should be in a state ready to um, continue. Um, if you're new, welcome, and you would like to follow along, you'll be able to obtain this particular file um, on the website being shown underneath. Um, you may need to register for this, and then once you've registered, you can then download all appropriate material. There's lots of other stuff on there that you may find interesting. Um, so what we're going to do is sorting and really there's several different sections we need to talk about on sorting is where do we define the sort now that may sound a bit daft but where is the sort going to be contained because we're returning data from our data set already which is these particular fields so is the sorting best done here is the sorting best done on the actual report itself well it's a bit of a mixed bag. It, it depends on um, how many users are going to run this report, how complex the sorting is going to be. I tend to err on the side of caution where I would have a default sort already on the system and this would be done inside the actual SQL itself. So I'm just going to jump over to um, the management studio where I have um, this particular report um, or script already on here. Uh, this sort of follows on from the previous video but what I've done is I've also put underneath it order by city so when I, uh, well if I ran that it would actually put it into um, an alphabetical order. Um, so what we'll do is I'll just copy that line of um, script and we'll go back into bids. I'm going to edit the data source so data source properties and whiz down to the bottom and underneath the where clause just put in order by city and I'll just okay that let's have a preview and okay I've got the cities in alphabetical order but can we prove it's working well no problem let's just go back into the properties of that data um, set and we'll whiz down again to the bottom and I'm just going to put in at the end DESC which is stands for descending and let's just OK again. Let's preview. And there we go. We can see the cities now are beginning with the S's, which is the last one um, in the list. Um, so again, I'm going to go back into design. And for the benefits of this video, I'm actually going to remove that particular order by clause. So we've learned, first of all, that we could actually sort in the base data. At the end of the day, SQL Server is a database engine and it's designed to optimally perform if you're going to do sorting. So I would recommend that you would set up always on your reports a default sort, the order in which the user would more likely want to see the information. So in an employee list, two spring to mind, well, three spring to mind, it's probably going to be either the last name, the city, or the job title, or a mixture of all three. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to explore all the different options of sorting. So um, let's pretend that we're not going to sort inside our data source because at the end of the day um, we may be pulling from data which is in a set order and we can't change it. So what else do we have? Well we can actually sort inside the report and for this you need to just click onto the um, actual table itself and at the top left where you see the two columns and rows converge just right click there and choose um, table properties if you're in 2005 or tablix properties if you're in 2008 and higher and what you should find is you have a sorting tab and so let's click on sorting and we've got nothing set up so let's just click on add and let's choose in this case the last name field so last name A to Z and let's OK that and what we need to do now is preview and all being well we've got all our last names in alphabetical order um, but now it's made a bit of a mockery of our city um, and job titles so we may want to actually extend this sort well let's go back into the design click into the table again right click in the top left hand corner tablix properties sorting and then we can add another column to this list so um, let's click on here and now let's just choose city and city underneath last name is not right really so what we're going to do is we've got these um, priority buttons here so I'm just going to click on the up arrow to say city comes first then last name and let's OK that and let's preview again and now we've got our cities and then last names in that um, alphabetical order. Great. So you could say, well, that's it. That's all I need to know. So end of story. Well, no, not really, because 
you've hard coded this so if you deploy this report for the report consumer to use sooner or later they're going to come back to you and say yeah that's great but my employee IDs are out of order um, I want it in employee ID format um, I want it to be sorted by the job title rather than city so you then end up creating multiple reports which which are exactly the same it's just the sort orders changed well Microsoft identified this as a potential um, issue for reporting so what they did is they actually gave you the ability to do interactive sorting. Now this is done slightly differently. What I want to do is go back into the design view and what we do is we click on a particular field. So let's say the last name. So just click on the heading here. Now right click on it and choose text box properties or in 2005 just properties and you should see one of the tabs on there is interactive sort. So if we click on that um, at the moment it's switched off so we want to enable it so let's just enable and then we've got sort by so on the drop down box we're in currently let's just move over we're in currently the last name heading so let's put in um, last name there and OK and let's just do preview and we now see this little up and down arrow to the right of the actual text which at the moment just says it's in a state of not sorted now if I click on that what it immediately does is overriding the um, initial sort order that we put on either via SQL or inside the table it now overrides it with the interactive sort so we've got the last name um, to go in alphabetical order ascending or descending so that's great now what we can do is we can apply this to all the other fields but what I want to sort of say and this is personal preference you may not agree with me on this is I don't like the sort option to be here the reason is is if I put this on first name in fact let's for practice do that let's right click on the first name heading go to text box properties interactive sort tick the box and choose first name and OK. Now if I preview, can you see what's happened? It's knocked first name over because it needs to fit this little icon on the screen. Um, so sooner or later what's going to happen is if you put those on and you're trying to, um, you're, you're fighting for real estate space, i.e. You, you're running out of space to fit on a piece of paper, you really don't want these getting in the way, these little up and down arrows. So what I tend to do is something different. So I'm going to go back into design and I'm going to right click on the actual um, little handle here to the left of the first row I'm going to do insert row and choose below and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my interactive sorting on here instead so what we do is right click on the first field properties again interactive sort enable it and then sort by the employee ID now I won't bore you on the video but what I'd like you to do is as a bit of practice is just um, complete the actual um, columns crosswords so you go from employee ID through to email address and then we'll pick it up from there so you may want to pause the video at this point okay we should be at a point where we've put those um, sort options on now what I've also done is I've taken it off the first name and last name columns that we um, set up originally so when I preview now I now have this extra sort of row where I can click and I can sort it in whatever order I want now you'll say well that's great however what if I wanted to sort by city but then sort by last name well that's no problem but this is an educational step for your report consumers if you hold down the shift key you can select multiple sorts so I can sort by city in ascending and then sort by last name in descending order and it's based on your clicks so whichever one you click on first is priority sort one then priority sort two if you've gone wrong don't worry just click somewhere else and start again so this time I want to sort by last name then by city holding down the shift key and then again I can spin them around so unless the last name there's two people with the same surname we're not going to really see anything change there but lo and behold you've now got sorting set up so finally really to close we just need to discuss again what we've done well we can either put the sort on the actual SQL script itself and I would recommend you do that anyway as a default sort so when they run it they don't the users don't have to click on a particular interactive sort it's already in a sort of desired order let's say nine out of ten people prefer it that way um, 
The second option then is you can actually enforce sorting by going into the table and in the table properties you can then put sorting here um, but anything from this point onwards is now an impact on the performance of the report server. So if there's only say 50 people using this report not a problem but the more people that go on it the more impact this will have on reporting especially when you get to more of your complicated reports where there's grouping etc etc being involved it can be a potential hazard if you start relying on putting on sorting inside the report it's unavoidable you're gonna to have to do it however try and be careful how much sorting you do because it will have an impact on the rendering of the report and um, it's better for the actual report sorry the SQL server to do all the work first prior to it getting into the report server so we can do sorting this way and we can keep adding changing the order and basically the priority and then finally the best way is to let the users um, sort on the fields that they want so I've made this completely interactive now by doing um, in the properties choosing the interactive sort option so they're really your three sort of options when it comes to sorting um, I hope this helps and I look forward to seeing you on the next video